how do you not conflate the two? I mean, it, 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 I know the Indian-Russian relationship is strong, but you also have issues with China. How do you then sit back and define Indian foreign policy at this point where the West seems to be quite vociferous in trying to curtail funding for the war in Ukraine, whereas by purchasing this oil uh, for national interest, um, India is being asked, are you funding this war? So, look, uh, I, I mean, I don't want to sound argumentative, but then tell me if buying Russian gas is not funding the war? I mean, why is it, it's only Indian money and uh, oil coming to India which funds, but it's not gas coming to Europe which funds? I mean, look, somewhere, I mean, let's, let's be a little even-handed out here. And even this, you know, look the whole narrative that it's gone up nine times. I mean, it's gone up nine times from a very low base. And it was a very low base because at that time the markets were more open. You know, why, why if, if uh, countries in Europe and the West and the United States are so concerned, why don't they allow Iranian oil to come into the market? Why don't they allow Venezuelan oil to come into the market? I mean, they've squeezed every other source of oil we have. And then say, okay, guys, you must not go into the market and guess the best deal for your people. I don't think that's a very fair approach. 